Hey, what's going on, friends? I hope everybody is stirred up and excited about just life and, and everything that, that God's doing right now. There's, there's it's such an exciting season. I just see the Lord just moving forward and with just so many things. And there's so many people that my wife and I love and care about that we just see them really moving forward into what God has for them. And this is a, an exciting season to be a part of the body of Christ. And I just want to jump into this and just tell you what, what happened last night at prayer. But we were in corporate prayer meeting last night and and we start prayer off as we all kind of spend our own time with the Lord and and just to spend about an hour with 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 ourselves with the Lord, and then we usually come together, and then we start praying corporately together. Then, then after we pray corporately together, then we start um, sharing what what the Lord has been speaking to us about, and it's just a really good corporate prayer time. I love corporate prayer, but what happened last night is just when we were spending about our hour by ourselves, I was getting really excited in the presence of the Lord. I just I felt the Lord speaking a lot, and then in our corporate prayer, everybody was hearing just a lot of powerful words about moving forward and advancing the kingdom and momentum and things like that were, it wasn't one of those, you know, you hear a lot of people say, well, in the next season, things are going to happen, and you're about to enter in, there was none of that. It was, there is momentum, there is an advancement, there is acceleration, we are moving forward. And in the midst of that, we were praying. The Lord spoke something very, very powerful to me. And at the end of our corporate prayer, I just said, I've got this word that I have to share. And the word was, we are in a season of answers. A season of answers. And and I got so excited about that, that word because probably about a month ago, God gave me a very powerful prophetic word about clarity that people were going to step in to seasons that they were going to have clarity. They were going to know what to do. They were going to understand how to navigate what they were doing. And then as we were kind of wrapping up corporate prayer, I felt this in my spirit and I just released it. I said, the ministry that we're doing with Roar, we've been doing these corporate prayer meetings. My friend Jeff McFarland and myself, we've been doing these prayer meetings for about eight years. We started in a fellowship hall of, of a church that my cousin was the pastor of. It was a youth room slash fellowship hall. We started a prayer meeting in there eight years ago on a Tuesday night. We've been faithful ever since. And what I felt the Lord speak to me was I'm about to do more in the next 90 days than I've done in eight years. Now, what does that mean? Think about this. If you are building a house, my my wife and I, we custom built our last home. It took forever to get the dirt work done and the, the plumbing done and then the concrete and the foundation done. The house went up pretty quick. But they wanted to make sure that the foundation was right. That's why our house is so solid. It's got a great foundation. What I felt the Lord has been speaking to me about personally was through Burn Texarkana and our time at, at First Assembly and even at Roar, we have built a strong foundation over the past eight years. But now is the time that we are about to start building. And so what the Lord spoke to me about was this is a season of answers for a lot of people. And in that, you are going to have extreme clarity on so many things. God is going to just reveal answers to you. You know, when I got home last night, I was praying about something, and guess what? I got answers. This morning, I woke up, and and I was, I was after prayer, I was going through some of the, the daily things that I do, looking over our ministries and businesses, and, and I looked at a few, few reports, and I was like, whoa, wow. The thing that I've been praying for, the answer that I needed is right here. So I came to the office this morning, and I was working on some, some other projects. And all of a sudden, clarity came, insight came. I got the answer. I called my apostle, was talking to him, Ken Malone, today, and, and he just spoke two or three things. I was like, wow, those words he spoke into me were answers. And I was like, God, 
That word you gave me last night in prayer is already manifesting itself. This is a season of answers. So my friends on, on Facebook and on YouTube, I want to encourage you. You know what your dreams are. You know what's in your heart. You know your vision. But you haven't received the full impartation from God yet. You have not received that clarity, that key insight that you need. We are in. I did not say we're entering. I did not say it's coming next season. We are in the season of answers. So right when I got that word, I knew exactly what I was going to do. I was going to go on a certain type of fast for an allotted amount of time. Because I want to make sure that I am positioning myself properly to make sure that I will be able to hear everything that God is saying. And whenever you know God is about to do something and God is about to speak, you stop. You listen. You're John the Beloved. You put your head on Christ's chest to hear the heartbeat of Christ. I want to know what God is doing and what God is saying. Yesterday, I just kept saying this same phrase over and over and over and over again. I do not want to miss a thing. I do not want to miss a thing. I do not want to miss a thing. I will not miss a thing in this season. I will not miss a thing in this season. I was declaring that, and then the prophetic word came. This is a season of answers. Because if God is doing something in the midst of Texarkana, I want to be a part of it. I want to be a part of what my Savior is doing. I know God has a blueprint in heaven over our region, and I want to be one of the people. I want to be one of the architects. I want to be one of the master builders. You know, I, I want to be the one in there helping other people move forward and advance the kingdom of God. I love when people call me and they'd be like, hey, Apostle Jojo, man, I just, I need to talk to you about something. And while they're talking, I'm able to give them an answer. I want to be a voice that can speak into other people and give them answers. My friends, we are in the season of answers right now. Get ready. The things that you've been asking God for, the, the insights you, you've been needing, that you've been longing for, that, that piece to the puzzle you know, and a lot of times, like recently, I was just kind of thinking about some people who left our ministry a while back, and I didn't fully understand why they left. And then a key voice in my life said, you know, if you knew what they really were carrying and what they were going through, you would be glad that God removed them because they can't get healed where they were at and what they were carrying. They've got to go through some things. Man, that answer freed me. There was a time some, some things on a certain building my wife and I wanted it didn't advance. We had made two different deals with, with the, the gentleman who owned it. And, all, and for some reason, it, it did not. And one day I said, God, we've been trying to get this building for a while. And it just, we've even made deals and we're ready to sign a contract, but it didn't work. And God said, I'm about to show you why you didn't get that building. And he showed me. I was like, thank you, Lord, for us not getting that building. I remember recently I went through a, a really hard season physically with some, some things in my life. And I went out and said, God, why, why did I have to go through that? Why did I have to have all these procedures? Why didn't I just get supernaturally healed? He showed me and I said, wow, thank you for having me walk through that. I used to walk real close with some certain ministers and, and God showed me one, one day why I wasn't running with them anymore. And I was like, wow, God, thank you for that. Nothing wrong. It's just, it was a time of separation. So whenever you're frustrated or hurt about something and you don't understand, understand this, that God is the God of answers. And this is the season that you're going to get your answers. You are going to get the, the resolve in a lot of areas in your heart. You may have had some people leave your church, and that's okay. You may have had some people leave your business, that's okay. You may have been overlooked for a promotion, that's okay. Girl, he may have married one of your friends and not you, that's okay. Boaz is coming. You, you have no idea why. And I just know in every aspect of my life, when I didn't understand why, I would ask the Lord. And in the, the allotted amount of time, in the right season, God would show me the answer. And the answer made all the sense in the world. My friends, spend extra time with God. Maybe go on um, a certain type of fast and, and spend time with Him and get ready because He's about to give you some answers 
to some things that you've been asking questions to. And, you know, like I remember one day I was talking to Ezra who was asking me these questions. And I said, son, you know, I don't know if me to explain those to you yet. And it's fun because he's seven. But some days I'll be like, son, I need to explain some of those questions to you. And I explain them. And he's like, oh, dad, thank you for explaining it to me now. Because when I was a kid, I couldn't have grasped the reality of what you're saying. I'm like, son, you're seven. You know, as my daughters are getting older, um, my oldest daughter, Malachi, I drive her to school about 15 miles each way. Um, sometimes 15 miles, it takes 15 to 20 minutes. Well, we have these in-depth conversations about things. And, and I'm able to speak into her life and, and give her answers on a lot of things that she won't have to look for the result herself, but I'm able to give her answers. And I love the time that we get to spend together. My wife and I speak into our, each other's lives a, a whole lot, just you know, helping one another, sharing insight from the Lord. And I even believe that, that a lot of you are going to be watching the right YouTube videos, the listen to the right podcast, the right Facebook lives, and you're going to get some key insight. And hey, if if you don't subscribe to our podcast, I just launched a podcast with the Charisma Podcast Network. Go to iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and just type in um, Kingdom Mindset, Jojo Dawson, and subscribe every Monday morning. I'll be giving you some early Monday morning motivation. And I want to help be a voice in your life. I want to help bring some answers to you. And so listen to key voices. And what you got to understand is I love listening to older ministers and entrepreneurs who've who've accomplished some things. So I may not have to go down some of the roads they've gone down. I, I, I can receive and glean from them. And that's what I tell my kids. I don't want you to be where I'm at when you're 45. I want you to be where I'm at when you're 25 so you're able to bypass everything that I've ever done. I, I want you to be able to stand on the shoulders of your mother and my success, and I want you to go forward in life. I want to give you answers. There's answers out there if you're looking, and I just believe that there is a grace from God and an appointed time for him to pour out his spirit in this season to be the season of answers. So receive this prophetic word. Lean into God and hear what he's saying and go accomplish everything that he lays upon your heart to do.